Now this video will teach you how to use this MacBook Pro A1708 SSD recovery adapter. Now please note this adapter is specially for the Apple PCIe SSD. Long touch bar version manufactured in 2016 and 2017. Please note we can check this is the SSD adapter. No. Now let's check how to use this adapter properly. Firstly, we need to insert this PCI SSD to this adapter. And then we connect this adapter to this NVMe to USB 3 adapter then connect to the laptop so we connect everything properly like this one now we can see this is the flash led night we can see it is on and also for the adapter led night it is on too so make sure these two led nights are on to make sure both of these adapters are working normally. Next, we can try to go to the hard drive disk management. Disk 2. Now we can check here. This is the Apple PCI SSD adapter. We can see the partitions here because this is the MacBook uh, Apple SSD so I cannot view these partitions I cannot view these partitions directly within the Windows operating system so it's not here but it's shown in uh, disk management now to view these partitions we can use special data recovery hardware tools or we can also view these partitions by some data recovery software such as the R Studio. now let's check in R Studio first within R Studio we can see here the J Micron Tech under this we can find these are the available partitions under this adapter the J Micron Tech so it is very easy to view the partitions here under the J Micron Tech now this is how we view these partitions within the R Studio. Now let's check how to view the partitions within the DFL DDP data recovery tool. Now we go to the DFL C panel. And within the C panel, we can also find the J Micron Tech. 0208 so we double click this and we can select DDP software module select DFL SRP now if you have the DFL DRE that means the DFL PCI data recovery hardware too so you can check the hardware name here and then click OK Next, we enter the DFL DDP data recovery program. We select this data extraction icon. Select here, select this source drive. Now we can find out here the source drive J Micron Tech is showing here as the source disk. So we click next. Now we select the file extraction directly, click finish, 
then the program is starting to list the partitions available within this Apple PCI SSD. Please note this SSD is from the A1708 MacBook Pro and it is the long touch bar version. Please make sure if you want to get this adapter, this adapter detected within the disk management or available in the R Studio or available in the DFL C panel. We need to make sure this SSD is good itself. If this SSD is damaged or has firmware failure, then users cannot use this adapter. This is just one adapter. It cannot repair the bad sectors. It cannot repair the firmware corruption. So please take note on this one. So this is the method on how we can view the partitions within the Apple PCI SSD. Please note this one. We mention it again. The ID, Mac Pro, MacBook Pro ID, the A1708. 